Hello, ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? It's Bromley here, and I'm back once again with another Pepe video on this channel. Now, if you can't read the title above, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be talking about an update within Pepe. Now, when I say an update within Pepe, this might be interpreted as wrong. So I'm going to tell you before this video even starts, right? When I say update, I want to update you all on the chart. Now, I'm sorry if it is a little bit clickbaity, but you got to do what you got to do in this industry, right? But ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be looking at the Pepe chart and we're going to do some technical analysis. We're going to do some fundamentals in, in this video to make up for the little bit clickbait title. I am going to be providing a price prediction for Pepe and where I think it's going to go by the end of 2024. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't already, please don't drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I promise all my videos are not this clickbaity, but today is an exception because Pepe is on the rise and I want to get as much attention on this video and where I think it's going to go in the future as possible. So please, please forgive me before that. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let's, let's go through a few Pepe updates on the Twitter and let's go through this. So obviously they've got their official links all pinned on their Twitter page. Um, so average meme coin Duma. So yeah, just some weirdo, this weirdo frog looking creature. That's generally what fudders look like within the crypto space, honestly. You know, people who want to prey on other people's downfall. That is generally what they look like. Um, Crypto.com. So we can see here, jump with a chance to win UFC 303 tickets and a share of US $50,000 worth of Pepe. Now, in my opinion, this is a fantastic partnership with Pepe. You know, doing some sort of giveaway with Crypto.com. That is actually so, so huge in the grand scheme of things. Like, that in itself, ladies and gentlemen, is a massive update. Because having that affiliation with Crypto.com, which is such a widely known exchange, that is only going to do great things for Pepe and make it into mainstream media. Now, if you want to understand why it's so important to get into mainstream media, ladies and gentlemen, is it because how a project goes from being the likes of, I don't know, let's say, uh, Volt in you, all the way up to a Shiba in you, right? It's bridging that gap, and Volt may be a bad example, because I know Volt did do a lot of mainstream updates, right? But it sort of takes them from like a $60 million market cap all the way to rise up to those billions. I know Pepe is currently trading at four billion. However, Shiba Inu, ladies and gentlemen, is currently at sixteen billion. Right, so we've got a little bit, little way to go to get up to those Shiba Inu levels. And by doing stuff like this with Crypto.com and other big exchanges, it's only going to bridge that gap faster for Pepe, and it is going to be the rise of the frog and not rise of the dog. So. Let's have a quick look. So let's see there's some breaking meme coins. So we can see Pepe is currently trading at the top. Uh, it's actually had more volume um, than Dogecoin, Solana. And it was only it was only two billion dollars off USDC, which is actually crazy. Like that is that is actually mental if you think about it. The Pepe was that widely traded that it was literally only $2 billion under where the US dollar was trading at on crypto, which is absolutely crazy. Um, so yeah, here reports that the dog days are over. Pepe is here. Um, I'm not sure about that image. Uh, it's a little bit risque for YouTube, but you know, you get the drift, right? Um, so this is all looking very good in my opinion. I think Pepe is in a fantastic position right now to see really nice gains. We see a purchasing power of the US dollar and we can see where Pepe is currently at. Pepe is in such a strong spot to see those monumental gains. It is one of those real juggernauts of the crypto space. Everyone knows about Pepe at the moment With if you are a crypto investor. However, getting to that mainstream media and actually getting people who are not normally crypto investors to invest in Pepe, that is where they have to do that really strong marketing and that is all going to be community driven, which looks really, really exciting. So yeah, all in all, I really like what Pepe is doing at the moment in terms of content and how they're going about marketing. I think that's a really smart idea to get into mainstream media. However, enough story, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to get into the meat and potatoes of this because we have a graph to, a graph to analyze, ladies and gentlemen. So, First things first, I want us to have a look and pay attention to this chart. So, what we saw, so obviously Pepe was incorporated all the way back on the 5th of May 2023. The frog was born. It hatched, well, it, became, it went from a tadpole to a frog. It hatched out of its uh, little egg 
and it started swimming and it eventually blossomed into the frog that we know it today right so obviously at any launch you always get this big big spike you see this big sell-off and then we saw a good stable floor now within any meme coin i was actually saying this about find another project which i'm covering at the moment it within any project it's so important to see that stability right so although we saw that sell-off at, at the start we did eventually secure a support structure and within any ICO, that is so, so important. You're always going to get sell-offs, right? You're always going to see an uprise and then you're going to see a drop. But you need to have that stable level of support to be able to leg up, to start step laddering up. We then saw a nice little spell here. We then dipped down to our lowest low point. And we were down here from September 2nd, roughly. Or let's say September, all the way through to near the end of November. But then, ladies and gentlemen... Around November time, we started seeing that uptrend. We started seeing Pepe rise. We saw the Pepe community come together. And they started step laddering up and saying, no, we're not going to settle at that lower low. We're going to create a new higher low because that is how Pepe rumbles, baby. And then started kind of stabilizing at that level. And we actually managed to maintain that higher low for a very long amount of time. And actually, in February... Funny enough, we dipped slightly below the higher low, but that, ladies and gentlemen, was the springboard that allowed us to see this astronomical rise on the 24th or 26th of February. This is where Pepe really starts to take off. And we can see as Pepe climbed, people were, were saying, oh no, what have I done? I didn't buy enough. And that FOMO kicked in, ladies and gentlemen. And for any, any new investor that's watching this who doesn't know what FOMO is, FOMO means fear of missing out. So yeah, within any crypto project, ladies and gentlemen, when you see that sort of trend, um, there is always that fear of missing out because people people see like 10% gain. They see 20% gain. They want to jump on that straight away, right? They're like, oh, what, like, why didn't I buy more? Let, let me buy more now. Let me buy more now because otherwise I may lose out on more potential money, right? And when people start seeing green, that's when people become really, really brave, right? And it's that whole saying of when people are scared, be brave. When people are brave, be scared. And the reason why Warren Buffett says that is because it's the simple psychology of how investors should think. Now, in this term, the reason why we saw Pepe really skyrocket up it's because people actually had the opposite mentality. And that opposite mentality of when the price was rising, people started becoming brave. Now, within within actual fundamental investing, that is a really bad thing to do psychologically, right? FOMO is probably one of the biggest things that is going to catch investors out. And it could mean that they get really bad entry prices. However, for people who actually bought Pepe, and because of where it is currently at its early position within the market that is why it's in such a good spot and the reason why i bring up the warren buffett thing is although it doesn't work as much in crypto because crypto is all based on community volume right it's all based on community trading right um stocks and st things like that that is when you need to have that psychology but within crypto it is a little bit different i do get that but the fundamentals do still apply in certain scenarios. However, for Pepe specifically, whoever bought on this uptrend is actually still doing very well now. Because as we can see, Pepe is currently stabilizing at uh, a nice up push trajectory here, actually. A very nice step ladder going up. And we're now teetering at our all-time high, which is really exciting on the 16th of May. Sorry, I did cough there. So, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that is a quick understanding of where Pepe is at the moment. You see, we have seen a bit of a head and shoulders graph here. I'm not sure if you can see that. Actually, it's more of a cup and handle, thinking about it. You see, like, the cup here. You then see it go down, and then you start seeing the springboard up. And again, I just love seeing this nice upward trajectory right here. This upward support structure. This, within any chart, is really bullish. The only thing which I am slightly concerned about within the Pepe chart is 
once we get out of this and once this upward support structure does eventually cave in because it can't maintain this ladies and gentlemen it will at some point have to come down will it go all the way back down here or will it go sort of here and stabilize that is going to be the big question but ladies and gentlemen what goes up must come down that is the natural place in stocks or crypto it's all about that market correction right however in december ladies and gentlemen by the time that Pepe has seen its correction, it should have also seen another step ladder. It should have already broken another higher high. So in my opinion, ladies and gentlemen, by December, and this is obviously not financial advice, and this is all my opinion, and make sure to do your own research as well, and don't just take my word as gospel, right? But I think that on December 2024, Pepe is going to be, I'm going to say, 40 to 50% higher than where it is currently. I think that we are going to be in a really good spot with Pepe. And actually, I think the way the market is going at the moment, we'll see a bit of a correction during the summer when people aren't at their computers, they're enjoying the sun. However, when that winter month kicks in, people are back on their computers, people are back trading again. That is when Pepe is going to moonshot. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is all my opinion and not financial advice, but I think that that is going to be how Pepe is going to trend. I think we're going to see a bit of consolidation. However, depending on where that consolidation can sit, that is going to dictate whether Pepe can rise to that next level up and hit what I suggested as 40 to 50% gains. I think it's very possible. The fundamentals are there. The community is obviously there. So it is now a case of will the community rally enough to be able to hit that 40 to 50% gain than what I'm predicting. They may even do more. They may even smash my target out of the water and make you look like a mug, which I am completely okay with and I hope you do that. So ladies and gentlemen, that is going to come off today's video. If you have enjoyed this video, please don't drop a like and subscribe to the channel. It really means a lot. Uh, I'm currently back. Uh, this is this is pretty new to me, like making videos again. I've been back for four days. I made four videos and we are grinding back here, baby. So I appreciate any support on this channel. I'm going to try to upload daily and every single bit of like and support on the channel really helps me push this channel further. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for watching and I'll see you next video on the channel. Take care, everyone.